Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He said, no, we're not going to take the country from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the country from the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Are y'all listening yeah, yeah, yeah. to me? I said, Lord, that's that's different. You don't you don't want them to do stuff like that. In other words, if I want to take your house, I gotta find the strong man, tie the strong man up to take the house. That is not what Jesus is saying. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, No, you're going to convert the people. And by you converting the people, are y'all listening to me? Yeah. You're going to take the country. You're going to take the city. Yeah. In other words, I need you to preach the gospel, amen, in the crack house to make to it takes you. That witness yeah. takes you to the white house. Yeah. 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 Preach the word in the juvenile halls with so much power to the point you come from the juvenile hall to the city hall. Are y'all listening yeah. to me, brothers? Right. That's why he said your gift will make room and it will eventually bring you before kings. Are y'all listening? But you got to take it from the bottom to the top. If there's going to be a change in the city, you first have to take the city. If there's going to be a change in the family, you first have to take the family. Yes, if there's sir. going to be a change in the marriage, uh -huh. you first have to take the marriage. Yes. If there's going to be a change in you, uh -huh. you first have to possess you. This fight is over territory. Yes. Who's going to run the city? Either it's God or the devil. Who's going to run your family? Either God or the devil. Who's going to run your household? Either God or the devil. Who's going to run your life? Either God or the devil. That's what this fight is over. Who's going to run it, brothers and sisters? The devil is trying to take control, and God is trying to take control. Because you can never, amen, get an agenda going until you first have power. Yeah. Good God of mine. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. So if we're going to bring, amen, God's agenda into the city, we first have to possess the city. How you possess the city is you convert the natives. You, oh. yeah. <laughs> just, you got to look at the city as though this is a foreign place. Yeah. Yeah. And you're here trying to convert and colonize the people yeah, yeah. to believe in what you believe in. Yeah. Am I making yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said this. He said, but you're not going to use a gun. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. See, because when they take a city, they usually do it by fear mm -hmm. and by yeah. force. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. And God doesn't want anybody worshiping him due to fear or due to force. Right. Yeah. Right. He says, no, so we're not going to use a gun. Mm -hmm. He says, you're going to use my word. Yeah. Yes. You're going to teach them what I taught you. Oh, good God of mine. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. He says, because my word is so powerful. Yes, it is. Are y'all listening to me? That it will penetrate the heart mm -hmm. and make the murderer want to worship. Yeah. 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 Woo, you don't have to put a gun to their head. My word is so powerful yeah. that if you just speak my word, yeah. it will transform somebody's heart, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. It will change their heart. Are y'all yes, listening? Yes. It will go into the most inner part mm -hmm. of them and it will convert them yeah. to want to go to my agenda. Yes. So that lets me know the change starts from the bottom mm -hmm. to the top. Mm -hmm. And from a personal level, mm -hmm. it starts from the inward to the out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> when you first become a Christian in your heart, yes. Doesn't matter if you come to church. Doesn't matter if you know serve scripture. Doesn't matter if you go to a service. You first become a born again believer yes. in your heart. Yes, yes. And thou shalt confess with the mouth of the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart. heart. All right. All right. Yes. That's why Jesus said, "People will honor me with their lips, yes. but their hearts are far away." Yes. Yes. Good God. The Bible says, "God looks. Men look on the outward appearance." God looks on the inward appearance. He said, this is what I want you to do. Take all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Teach them to observe all things whatsoever I command you. And lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. Yes, sir. Then we jump to Matthew 16, mm -hmm. where we understand that so while you are pushing the agenda of God, yeah. the devil's going to try to stop you. Mm -hmm. right. <coughs> are y'all listening to me? Yes, sir. That's correct. Because I told you the fight is for who's going to run the territory. Mm -hmm. 
when I when I was studying this, a, a, a song Jay Z wrote came up to me and said, "Who's gonna run this city tonight?" Mm. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. So he's letting us know that while you are carrying on my wheel, while you are possessing the land, amen, mm -hmm. the enemy's going to try to stop you. Yeah. But I told you that upon this rock. I'm going to build a church, mm -hmm. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So usually when you read that, and you think that it's the hell coming against you. No, no. It's actually you coming against hell. All right, man, so it's letting us know that the gates, that hell is trying to keep you out from taking the territory. If you hit it hard enough, it'll fall. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> y'all listening to me? Yes, sir. I, I want to let you know. If you take faith in Jesus in your prayers, mm -hmm. everything that you pray for with faith and not wavering, it'll fall. Yes, sir. Right. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, sir. Nothing that the enemy has set up in your life, in this city, in your body, is strong enough, amen, to stop, amen, the will of God for your life. Yeah. All you have to do is press in harder. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail. It will not keep you out. The enemy will not stop you. He is not strong enough to hinder you. Are y'all listening to me, brother? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world, brothers and sisters. We just got to push a little harder. We just got to pray a little harder. We just got to believe a little harder. And it'll fall. One thing I learned about David and Goliath, giants fall. Yes. Yes, yes. Good God Almighty. He says, the gates of hell mm -hmm. will not prevail against you. It's going to try to stop you, mm -hmm. but if you just keep pushing, keep pushing. it won't stop you. Yes, yes. It's going to try to detour you, but if you keep pushing, it won't stop you. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what are some areas or some people, let me say, that we need to conquer? Mm -hmm. All right. If we're a conquering church, mm -hmm. we understand that God has called us to possess the land. Amen. Mm -hmm. How we're going to possess the land is by converting the people. So what are three people? Because there's three people that we need to conquer. First, you need to conquer yourself. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. Before you can conquer somebody else, are you conquered? Mm -hmm. Have you conquered yourself? He gave me an acronym for conquering ourselves. It's called SPEC. Mm -hmm. SPEC. SPEC starts with first submitting to the agenda of God or the will. Of God. Does that make sense? Yeah. Book of James 4 7 says, Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Every conqueror, are y'all listening to me? Every uh, uh, yes, or soldier mm -hmm. is first submitted to their leader. Yeah. They're submitted to the United States Constitution. They actually defend it. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. They believe they're fighting for it and they will give their life for it because they have fully submitted to it. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. One of the problems with the church is that some of the people that say they believe in Jesus are not fully submitted to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You heard me say this last week. I'm supposed to invite, invite sinners to church. Yeah. I don't suppose to invite saints to church. Mm -hmm. Well. I suppose to tell somebody that don't have a relationship with Jesus, you need to come to church and worship him. I don't suppose to tell that to a person that has a relationship with Jesus. Why I should not have to tell them that is because they're supposed to be already submitted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are y'all listening to me? You will never, amen, obtain your promise until you first fully sell out for your promise. You'll never get it. He that sows sparingly shall what? He's not just talking about money. Okay. He that sows bountifully shall reap now. That lets me know the more I sacrifice for whatever it is, the more I'll get from it. Are y'all listening to me? And if you want to get more from God, 
How much are you willing to give? How much are you willing to give? One of the awesome things about the early church and the early disciples, they all gave up their life for the sake of the gospel. Peter, Paul, all of the disciples but John died for the sake of the gospel. No, are y'all listening to me? So if we're going to take the city over oh, Richmond and surrounding cities, we first got to be sold out to God. You ought to tell me, say, you can't charge somebody's battery with a dead battery. Right, right, right. You can't compel me to believe something that you're not fully mm. believing in. Mm. Or you haven't fully studied about. Mm. Because you should not submit to something. That you know nothing about. Well, well that's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous getting married to somebody that you didn't really <laughs> coat and date. Yeah. That's dangerous because you don't know who that person is. How can you fully submit to Jesus if you don't study? Yeah. You learn who He is through His Word, and the more I come to know who He is, the more that makes me want to say, "Lord, I give You my life." Yeah. But if you don't study, you will never come to that point to say, "Lord, I want to give You all of my life." Because you don't know it. Thank you. Good God. All of you, all of you. So he says, first you must submit to it, right? Yeah. I'm talking about spec. Submit. Mm -hmm. Right? He says, secondly, brothers and sisters, excuse me. He says, secondly, yes, Lord, you must pick up a vision, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That will spread, or let me say, continue my agenda. Mm -hmm. So as believers, we just don't do anything. We do things that will spread the agenda, or let me say, the will of God. Mm -hmm. So if you come to me and say, let's do this, pastor, I'm going to ask you, how does this uplift God? Mm -hmm. Because that's supposed to be the goal to anything we do. Yes. And at the end, God be glorified. Yes. And that was, let your light so shine before men that they gonna see what I'm doing through you, but they're supposed to give me the glory. Yeah. Come on, man. What do you do that glorifies God? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What vision do you have yeah. that will bring people to Jesus? Mm -hmm. What vision do you have that will show people Jesus' love? Mm -hmm. That will show people who Jesus is? Amen? Amen. Without a vision, people what? Yeah. They die. Mm -hmm. It's death. So God says, if you're going to live and survive, amen, mm -hmm. you have to have a vision. And the vision should be something that is pushing my agenda. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? Yes. Thirdly, he says, you have to elude the devil. Another word for elude is resist. Mm -hmm. Talking about spec. Because you're going to start, right? You submit it to God. You're going to get you God's going to show you a vision. You're going to start working for God, whether it's your vision or somebody else's vision that you're supporting. Mm -hmm. You're working for God, and the devil's going to try to stop you. Yes. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. Don't be dismayed. Yeah. He's just doing his job. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 It's the job of the defense to try to stop the offense. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah, yeah. But he says you must elude the devil. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. You must elude the devil. Anything that you see that is working contrary to the vision that God showed you, you have to get away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to escape it. Because the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. And he's trying not to just per se kill, to steal, and destroy you. He's trying to kill and to steal and destroy the will of God for your life. Because he does not want the territory to be taken. When Jesus cast the devils and demons out of that man named Legion, what did they tell Jesus? Suffer us not to leave the region, the territory. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. And Jesus casts him into pigs. Mm -hmm. Good God Almighty. Yeah. It says you must elude the devil. Yes. And one way how you elude the devil, and this is in my lack of respect, and this is for you, you must cast down yeah. demonic imagination. Amen. 